Hello. I'm going to try today to show y'all how I make uh, tomato pie. I've shared the recipe a lot of times with a whole bunch of people that I know and they always love it. I went to a sewing retreat several years ago and a friend of mine, Debbie Legrone, told me about tomato pie. I came home the very day we got home. I ran to the store, bought this stuff and made it and it's been a family favorite ever since. Now, I usually make it with a regular pie crust, but today I'm gonna to do something a little different. My friend Linda over at Linda's Pantry told me to try it with puff pastry. So I love puff pastry, so I'm gonna try that. So I've got some stuff prepped. I've got, uh, you slice your tomatoes, um, lay them on paper towel and sprinkle them with salt and let them set about 20 minutes. And then you just pat as much of the liquid off as you can that keeps your pie from being soggy. Uh, then you you cook off some bacon. I've got my crisp bacon cooked, a cup of, of bacon. I've got about four green onions chopped already, ready to put in. And I've got a cup of cheese that I'm gonna alternate. I have some um, flour over here that I dredge my tomato pieces in. Now, after I pat them dry, I don't salt them anymore because they're already salty. I do sprinkle them with onion and garlic powder and a little black pepper. Then I dip them in the flour and line the crust and you layer it. So, uh, and then I just fold the edges up like a tart and you bake it at 350 for about 40 minutes. It's a complete meal, light meal, like for a ladies group or something with just a salad. But every special holiday, my family requests a tomato pie. At the end, you're gonna to top it with a meringue that's made with two cups of cheddar cheese or your choice of cheese and a cup of mayonnaise. And I always add onion and garlic powder to that. Um, and you're gonna put this on as you will see, just like you would a meringue on a pie. And I um, hope you try this recipe and love it as much as we do. So I'm gonna um, dredge my tomato pieces and put them around in the bottom. I forgot this one time and let me tell you, this is an important step. It will make, uh, make it soggy if it has all that juice in it. And this just kind of, and it doesn't make a thick battery juice in there. It just keeps it from being so soggy making the bottom of your crust soggy. Now, if you were not gonna pull it back up like a tart and you were just gonna uh, make it in a pie crust with and leave the pretty fluted edges, you could put that pie crust in the oven for about, well, till it's light brown. And that way it uh, we would assure you that it wasn't gonna be soggy in the bottom. Okay, I've got my tomatoes in, a layer. I'm gonna sprinkle a layer of green onions some of those buddies didn't cut up really well. There's the green onions. And then some of the bacon. I mean, you can't go wrong with bacon and tomatoes. That's just heaven on earth. And a little sprinkle of cheddar. Just enough, to, that just kind of binds it all together in there. Makes it yummy. Let me get the rest of these done. And um, then I'll show you how the finished product looks. And I just dip them in the flour and just to get the soggy off of them and put them in there. Oh, this is good. When we were on vacation in Pennsylvania a couple of years ago, there was a little tea room and the name of it was tomato pie. Well, the two girlfriends that I was with had never had tomato pie. So everybody ordered the tomato pie and uh, came home wanting my recipe. And I'll have to tell you, theirs wasn't as good as mine. This is a very good, sometimes I can add, I add a little basil, uh, sometimes not. Today I'm not adding basil, I'm just doing just my basic little tomato pie. Okay, I didn't use quite all of the onions, and I had done a cup of green onions, and I had a cup of bacon, and I didn't quite, why not put the rest of the bacon in, a little pooey. Bacon makes it better. Okay, now now what I'm gonna do now is make the meringue on the top. It is a beautiful spring day in Texas today. I really would rather be out working in the yard. 
but I got a hankering for a tomato pie, so I thought I would make it. It didn't take a long time to do it. The main prep is making sure that you're, if you're making your pie crust or if you're using a, a bulk pie crust that it's thawed enough to work with. You rinse my hands right quick and then I'll be right back over there and turn that part up. And I just, if it's a pie crust, of course, it's all the way around, but I I couldn't make this, uh, this dough. Well, it's got some black pepper on it, but that's not gonna hurt anybody, is it? I'm gonna kinda scrunch it back a little bit because I like a little place in the middle to put me just a few little green onions, like that, and maybe one little sprinkle of cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put this into a 350 degree oven. Let me put it where you can see it. A 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes, and when it's done, I'll come back and show you. There is my beautiful tomato pie. The puff pastry just looks yummy. I just wanna break a piece off and eat it. And I will show you uh, when I cut it, when the family gets here and we start to make our meal, I will uh, cut a slice and let you see how it looks. But I, I'm pleased with how the puff pastry turned out. Okay, y'all, here's a good close up of the inside of the tomato pie. And I did cut a piece and it is delicious. I love the puff pastry with it. So give it a try and see if you like it and let me know what you think about it. Have a blessed day.